Hello, Teacher Alun here, and welcome to our audio presentation on thermal expansion and contraction. Today, we're going to talk about heat and its effects on matter. First things first, what exactly is thermal expansion? Well, thermal expansion is the tendency of matter to change in shape, area, or volume in response to a change in temperature. Simply put, when things heat up, they tend to expand. Think about a rubber band left out in the sun. As it absorbs heat, it expands becoming longer and wider. This is a perfect example of thermal expansion in action. But it's not just rubber bands that expand. Many materials including solids, liquids, and gases exhibit thermal expansion to some degree. For example, when you heat up a metal rod, it gets slightly longer. Even fluids like water can expand when heated. That's why you might notice the water level in a thermometer rising when it's placed in hot water. Now, let's talk about contraction. Contrary to expansion, Contraction occurs when a material cools down. As the temperature decreases, matter tends to shrink or decrease in volume. Imagine a balloon filled with air. When you place it in the freezer, the cold temperature causes the air inside to contract, making the balloon deflate. So, why is thermal expansion and contraction important? Well, understanding these phenomena is crucial in various aspects of everyday life and engineering. For instance, engineers must account for thermal expansion when designing bridges, railways, and buildings. Failure to consider expansion and contraction can lead to structural damage or even collapse. In conclusion, thermal expansion and contraction are fascinating phenomena that occur all around us. By understanding how heat affects matter, we can better navigate the world and design safer, more resilient structures.